What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and Ghost of Tsushima just had its first big update post release and it added a difficulty level that even games journalists will be able to handle and we will get to all the details there. But first, speaking of games journalists, it's not enough that this game is sold out so many places around the world. It's not enough that it is the fastest selling new IP in PS4 history. It's not enough that it is the highest rated PS4 for exclusive on Metacritic ever by fans. Now, because what do games journalists need in this game if we get a sequel? We need more women. Of course we do. We can't just have a great game. We need to have something else. Uh, you can see here, I've got a couple examples to show you. Uh, now, the first one is from Forbes. We all know Paul Tassi. Now, Paul Tassi is interesting. He either has a take that kind of makes you think and you're like, well, I don't necessarily agree, but I can see that. Or his take is cold as shit. And in this case, I think we know what it is. Ghost of Tsushima 2 has a clear hero in waiting, a legendary woman samurai. Now, uh, of course, it can't just be a legendary samurai or another character we were introduced. It has to be a legendary woman samurai. That's what the title is for a reason, because that's what they want. They want more women in this game. Uh, you can't have a story that's about a man saving this island. You couldn't have that happen again. Now, we're going to try to avoid spoilers for the most part but a, a real small one here for this game is that Ghost Tsushima 2 has a clear hero in waiting and it's the same hero that you have in Ghost of Tsushima that should be the character that would carry on a sequel for Ghost of Tsushima 2. But of course, we have to overthink this. We need more representation. And that's what Paul Tassi is pushing here. And he's pushing someone that uh, could make for an interesting hero. But wh why? why would you need to push that into this game that is so beloved right now? Why would you just continue doing what you're doing? Give us another great game, Ghost of Tsushima and Sucker Punch. That's what I want. But Paul Tassi is not alone in his desire for to have a, a woman lead Ghost of Tsushima 2. Look at this. So this is from uh, usgamer.net. Now these are this is a group discussion about people talking about what they would want from a Ghost of Tsushima sequel. And ironically, all three of these people asked, would you like to see that sequel focus on Jin, one of his supporting cast members, or a new character? And all of these people kind of don't like Jin's story. Somehow, in a game where the users have rated at a 9.3 because of how much they enjoy it, again, the highest rated PS4 exclusive in history, all three of these games journalists don't like Jin's story. Uh, Mike says, I've been pretty open that Jin's story was the least compelling in Ghost of Tsushima. And then he goes down the list of women that he would like to see lead the sequel. Joel says, I like that name, Joel. Where does that reminds me of someone? It was supposed to be a big part of a video game recently. I don't remember though. Um, my first impulse is to say Yuna should have the top billing as she was the most interesting and likable character. Uh, so another person that wants a woman to lead the sequel. And then, here we go, Cat. As far as I'm concerned, Jin's story is over. A potential sequel should either create someone else entirely new or hand the reins over to Yuna. Again, we need a female Ghost of Tsushima 2. That is what they are saying, to no surprise, because again, these are games journalists. This is all they care about, is, is representation. That is all they care about in these games. That is clear by the scores that they give things. That is what they want in these games. But speaking of games journalists, Ghost of Tsushima patch notes, better subtitles, and a lower intensity combat level. Uh, that is what was in this big update. Now, along with that lower intensity combat, we also got a lethal combat level. I, I think named after the Australian Samurai, Lethal Lightning. Don't quote me there, but I believe that is why. So we are getting opposing ends of the spectrum. We are getting an ultra high difficulty level in Lethal, and we are getting a games journalist level with this lower intensity combat. Let's get the details. The first post-release Ghost Tsushima patch notes give new options for combat and a badly needed buff for subtitle sizes. I haven't had a problem with the subtitles. I've been using them the whole time. Haven't had an issue. If you ever wish you could cut through hordes of enemies a little faster and also wish Jin couldn't soak up so many dire cuts on his own, 
you'll want to try out Ghost Tsushima Lethal Mode. On the other hand, if you wish the fights would just calm the heck down for a bit, you'll want to give Lower Intensity Combat a try. Um, lower Intensity Combat is a new setting in Ghost Tsushima Accessibility Menu. You can toggle it on or off with whatever other settings you like. Um, so basically what lower intensity will do is whatever combat level you're at, so whether you're easy, medium, hard, or lethal, you can turn on this lower intensity combat and it will make it a little bit easier for you. So for games journalists who want to do it on easy now, you can actually play the game without, without getting killed so many times. I'm sorry for you. Just like we saw, we saw people complaining about Final Fantasy VII Remake when that came out. People bitching about the fact that it was just too hard, specifically games journalists. So what this will do specifically is it makes more enemies' attacks blockable and it causes enemies to disengage their combos after the first time they land a hit and you're temporarily safe when you use resolve to heal in a fight. It's easier to avoid battles to begin with as enemy awareness will increase more slowly. I don't think that this is necessary to be honest, but I don't have a problem with them adding it. At the end of the day, I think that uh, more options are better. Uh, the more options we have to customize the experience for ourselves, the better I think it is for everyone. Uh, myself, when I've been playing it, I think that medium is a little uh, is a little too easy right now. Uh, where when I play hard, I don't really want to stream when I play hard because I do get killed quite a bit. It is more challenging. It'll be interesting playing around maybe with lower intensity on hard mode or maybe low intensity on lethal mode. See if I can find something that is the the right mix of you know challenging, but I'm still willing to play it on stream and not embarrass myself. But uh, that's just me. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Also want to know your thoughts on these games journalists coming out and wanting a sequel with a woman lead. Uh, I wonder if you say that for Horizon Zero Dawn. Would we see people? Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, what that really needs is a male lead. Imagine the reaction that people would have to that. Ghost of Tsushima is about Jin. It's about Jin Sakai. So... I want Ghost of Tsushima 2 to be about him as well. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours, if yours aligns with these games journalists or not. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.